We're on to the final three presentations of the Venture Catalyst Challenge. Uh, next up, we have Kerry from Fungi Alert. <coughs> So hi, hi, we're Team Fungi Alert, and we want to increase crop yields by detecting plant disease earlier so you can treat it. You can think of us as the smoke detectors for farmers. We solve the problem before it destroys everything. So first, our team. So Angela and I are two PhD students, um, and we actually work in the area of crop sustainability, so we're well placed to solve this problem. We, um, we've been working together for four years, but we came together a year and a half ago to work on Fungi Alert. Um, because we're both really passionate about increasing food production. We also have a great team of mentors and advisors. So what's the problem? Well, maybe let me start by illustrating it with a story. We know a farmer, a strawberry farmer. He sprays these fields regularly with fungicides to avoid loss due to disease. However, he notices some deteriorations in some of his strawberries. He sends them away for testing, and in the week that it takes to come back, his entire field looks like this. Everything's destroyed. He lost hundreds of thousands of pounds. And although he lost everything, on average, farmers lose 30% of all their crop yields due to plant disease. And why is this? Well, this is because um, the pathogens, the plant disease, exist as spores in the soil. And once they infect the plants, they can't be treated. They will spread and they will destroy everything they touch. What you need to do is to, to detect these spores early enough to treat them. And if this farmer had had fungi alert, he could have used our device to detect it early enough to treat it, but also to tell him if his fungicides was actually killing this pathogen. So I did say farmer sends things away for lab tests, and these are the competitors, I guess. Although not really direct competitors because they're extremely expensive. They're not really done in situ as such. In fact, it takes a week for the lab test to come back, and, and it's, it requires high skill and labour. They require the farmer to do, to do work, which is not ideal for farmers. Okay, um, Syngenta have recently partnered with a company that detects the spores in the air. It's a really cool piece of kit, but it's highly complex and highly um, expensive. It doesn't detect spores in the soil. We spoke with Syngenta, and they said if we could develop a device that could detect spores in the soil, they'd be interested in partnering with us. And that's what Angela and I did. We went away, and we developed an early detection device called Fungi Alert. It's simply a device that you plant into the soil, and the farmer is alerted to the risk of disease by a simple colour change, and he can spray and take preventative action there and then to save his crops. So how does it work? Four simple technologies. Chemotractants and a needle that attract the spores from far away to the, to the device, making it more selective than others. It's also got specific media and specific filters, and it's also got a detection chamber for visualisation. We have a strong IP position. We failed a patent um, last year, and it covers the use for all pathogens and all crops. It covers the use for not only soil, but water irrigation systems. It also covers for more sophisticated detection methods, meaning you can put wireless chips in there um, to be able to detect these um, over large hectares for large farms, and also for data collection. So what's our market? Well, we're initially targeting Photophora, it's the plant destroyer of the 21st century. It's a huge problem. Five to seven billion dollars is lost um, per crop every year. That's one pathogen. And where do we sit? Well, the diagnostic market for agriculture is 3.8 billion. And this is to increase to 7.3 billion by 2020. Um, and that's because there's more stringent guidelines in place um, to make sure that they're regulated what's going into the food, the food supply through chemicals and pathogens. Fungicide markets, 20 billion. We want to close these two gaps because we believe our solution will mean farmers use less fungicides. Okay, so our, our revenue model. <laughs> 25 pound per device, 10 per hectare, two per month. Over the growing season, that's 3,000 pounds per hectare. That's 80% cheaper than our current competitors over that growing season. Our manufacturing costs and mass production are less than two pounds per device. And you might think that our growth curve seems dramatic, but even with 100 customers, with even conservative mar um, mar um, manufacturing costs, we could turn over three million. So where, do we, where are we? We've built, um, and we're in early prototype stage, we need to continue with lab validation. But we've also signed up farmers for five large farms for field testing um, of our device. Um, and we've also been in contact with Syngenta, as I say, because we want access to their distribution, marketing, and sales channels. 
We've also been talking with Big Noodle, which is a centre for entrepreneurship to help accelerate startups. And they've put us in touch with the um, Minister of Agriculture in Scotland and in Asia. We're having great contacts to, to get our um, product to other markets. So thank you so much. And if anyone wants to come and speak to us today for, uh, to learn more or to give us some advice, that'd be fantastic. Thank you.